After the service is over, we set up the clinic. Triage is usually outside the church or shelter. Triage is where people tell us what ails them. Around the corner from triage is pharmacy, where we give them what might be of help. And just beyond pharmacy are the doctors and dentist stations, which we'll see in a few moments. The pharmacy is made up of about six or seven suitcases, chock full of all the medicines. Oh, I forgot to tell you where these came from. Let me back up here a little bit. This won't take long at all. I'll try to talk fast. Months before this whole missionary trip begins, the team members meet about once a month for a meal and packing pills, which means dumping them out of the original containers, putting them in Ziploc bags so they take up less space. That allows us to get 50 pounds of medicine in each suitcase, and each team member has one suitcase. So, that's how the medicine gets from West Michigan to Thailand. With the help of ministries such as International Aid, we have plenty of medicine to fill all these suitcases and then some. And each day, we give away hundreds of pounds. The only problem is sometimes we have a hard time teaching them how to get the lid off. There are at least two things that make operating a medical clinic in a mountain village a big challenge. The first is basic sanitation. I mean, you've got dogs and chickens and pigs running around your feet while you're trying to maintain a sterile environment. The other challenge is the fact that among the hill tribes, medicine is a spectator sport. I suppose it would be back in the States too if these things were done in plain view. And I guess we'll find out if you have a stomach for it in the next two or three minutes. One of the reasons the hill tribes need so much dental attention is because of their habit of chewing betel nut. With all due respect, do you see those black teeth? Well, that's supposed to be beautiful, and it's achieved by chewing betel nut, which leads to premature decay and receding gums. This man had become so long in tooth that he just wanted them all pulled, all six of them. teeth come out harder than others, but over the course of 10 days we will pull hundreds of teeth. It's interesting to watch the generations and how they interact, the closeness of family, like this one who asks us to make a house call on a dying parent. When the sun leaves the field, are you I'm 
Paraphrase the end of Matthew 25. Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink, or sick and come visit you? Inasmuch as ye have done this to the least of these, my brother, ye have done it to me. Think about those words as you reflect on these images. We hope that they'll remind you to pray for the hill tribes of northern Thailand, our timeless mission. (laughs) 